He might not be. That's it. Hacking. That's it. Piss. We know how to do this, guys. Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ghost Recon Wildlands. We are here in La Cruz, we're going to leave La Cruz today, and we are going up to Barvechos, which is over here. To get there, we are going to fast travel to uh, Itaqua Bravo, which we'll do now, and we're going to get going. A new province. This is exciting, guys. We weren't expecting to do La Cruz. After we did Pucara and Melka, I think were the two provinces south of Itaqua, they were three skulls each on difficulty. And I thought we were going to move up and do Barvechos or um, Tabacal, the two provinces which we've got left, which are also three skulls. But we ended up doing uh, an underboss, uh, Ramon Feliz, um, unexpectedly. But that was cool. Hey, this is where we started the game. Right at the beginning of the game we started here. So, we can untag whatever the hell it is that we've got tagged down here. Don't want that tagged. And we are going to head into Parvechos. Oh wow, look at that. That is a city. Or at least a large town. Interesting, cool. Okay, so let's work out a way to get in there. Because it looks like we're separated by a hill here. We could go down into... The corner of uh, Bukhara, I think that is. That's Bukhara. We'd head down here, take the twisties, and then pop up into uh, Barvechos through this road, sort of a highway. Uh, or we could just cut straight across the hill, which is my favourite route. Let's just do that. We'll take the helicopter. Uh, you people took out two of the scariest pinches culeros in all of Bolivia. Mm. People are becoming brave now. Good. They've shown the people that the cartel can bleed. Yeah. Oh, they can. Don't worry about that, brother. Hola, we'll make them bleed. Cool. So we're going kind of west northwest. It wasn't west northwest. That is westish or northwestish. So let's just head northwest in this direction. Soon be in Barbechos. That would practically be there by now, I would have thought. Across this river. We should be about there. We see quite a lot from here. Barbechos province. And Outer Plano province and Money Long Center. Silver mining and Money Long. There we are. So. Que pasa? What's up? Let's take a look at the map. What have we unlocked already? A new location over here. Let's swing it around and identify that. Got, in fact, you can see on the map all these little question marky locations. So this must be it over here, I'm guessing. It does not look familiar, so it must be right Vechos, not in Tacla. I see a network relay station up there. They're familiar. Be identifying this location, I hope. Some stuff. We're just we're basically just cruising around in this new place. We know that this is a side mission, guys. I'm going to do this while we're here. I'm tempted to land on the roof. I reckon you can and blast in through one of the upstairs doors. Do you think we can do that? Tempted to give it a try. Try not to crash into the little uh, thing that's there, though. We spotted a cartel network station. Let's go fuck with their fun. Just yeah, need to yeah, blow yeah. the door and deactivate it. Just blow the door and deactivate it. It's so simple, right? I'm just trying to orient myself here. A bit to the right. Get this helicopter down. Yeah, I don't really want to smack the rear rotor blade. To the little bit of roof. Let's drop a little bit of altitude here. Bounced off it. You heard that? I don't care. No, we're gonna have to land on the street, on the road here. It'll do. No, oh, don't worry about it, guys. We'll be dead soon. Alright, boys, let's make this happen. Good news. 
Svenja sent an accountant named Polpo to Barvechos to check out Nidia Flores' books. Word is Polpo is a hog. He doesn't let anyone cut any corners. So whether she's skimming from Svenja or not, Nidia's not happy to have Polpo looking into her. The cartel smuggles its profits into Barvechos from Brazil, and then most of that gets laundered through Banco de Barvechos. With Pulpo already about to gum up the works, there has to be some way we can use that to sabotage the entire process. Maybe Sueño already believes Nidia Flores has sticky fingers. To know for sure, we need to get hands on Pulpo. Our intel places his junior partner and right-hand man, a guy named Wagner, at a silver mine in Barbechos. Grab Wagner and make him cough up Pulpo's location. All right. Our friendly neighborhood CIA officer just sent us a video. Who's got the popcorn? Buckle up, people. Okay, let's take a look at this video. This is our intro to Barbechos. All the Sicarios in the world ain't worth piss if you don't have the accountants to wash the money clean. Octavio Allende is the accountant that does Sueño's laundry. They call him El Pulpo, the octopus, because he's got his tentacles everywhere. You take him out, a lot of other pieces no longer connect, but I want to use him as a weapon. Pulpo is management, and he knows it. Instead of an AK-47, he has a briefcase, and he uses it to open doors to businesses, to cement relationships with politicians and police, and to make the cartel's money something they can spend. Thanks to El Pulpo, in addition to its illegal enterprises, Santa Blanca has its cash in numerous legit businesses. El Sueño has brought El Pulpo to Bolivia to audit Nidia Flores. Cash from Brazil comes into Barvechos, where much of it is laundered into the mining consortium. Nidia's profits must be looking a little light. Mm, okay. Cool. So that is one briefing down. We've got some missions now. So we've got our first mission, El Pulpo's right-hand man. Cool. Okay, but anyway, we're here. We're at a network station. We're gonna do this thing. I just thought it would be cool to get the guys in the vehicle. Fire. Just... Roger. <laughs> See, they know where the enemies are. Cool, guys. Don't worry about that. We might jump back in the vehicle again in a second. I'll just actually, I might move it out of the way. The explosive radius of this C4 is probably gonna blast it to hell. And this is quite a sweet vehicle. I don't really want it destroyed. Cool, let's move. That should do. Right. I want to get the guys here somewhere with a line of sight to that? the door. Roger. We're going to blow it. We're going to go in. Target's marked. You guys Just ready? Say the word. Have I got the right thing selected? Yeah, yeah. C4. Oh, damn it. C4. Okay. Ready? Okay, we're still alright. Ready? Open fire. That woke him up. Copy. Okay, throwing a flashbang. Frag out. Get some. Fire. Come on, guys. Let's go. Engaging. Right for us. Engaging. Mm. Guy down. The rest of them all upstairs, aren't they? Where I need to be. Don't stop shooting until he's down. He's armored. He might not be. That's it. Hacking. He's a piss. We know how to do this, guys. Comms will give the rebels a reason to grow some balls. Used to fail a lot of these, but we've worked the plan out now. We know how to do it. We know how to get it done. That's good. Okay, we'll jump in our Zeus. Zeus. Let's see where we're heading. So the first mission is quite nearby. Very nearby. We could probably run to it on foot. You know what we do want to do when we come into a new province, though. Intel. Always needing intel so that we know we're not missing things as we go around. Um, oh, I'm torn. I'm tempted to head down for the intel quickly. Intel and Kingslayer, let's just get it done, guys. We'll get down there, we'll pick those things up. We can head uh, to our mission then. Breezes down there, can we take a shortcut? The man yes, at the can. king's right hand, the guy whispering in his ear, the guy handing down justice and Steve Bannon. You might not know, Ricky was acting a little crazy oh. the last couple of months. It happens, right? Everybody gets a little high on the supply. They get a short 
tempered and crazy strong. But when your homie likes to borgo too much, you gotta stop and get your amigo some help. If okay, somebody had cool. done that for Ricky, sat him down, top So this says we hover on it. Lieutenant Rebels. So we don't have any bad guys to worry about here. This is easy. Get in, speak to the friendly hombre, and uh, get out. Well, don't forget our king's there, huh? Reload while we're running. There is this guy. Put our weapons away. Get out, Hola, hey. amigo. You hear anything about the cartel first. here? Where they are, or things like that? <laughs> Gracias. Nice guy. Seven skill point positions. That's good. We've got a Kingslayer down here, and there's a see. Look, there's a skill point right here. I don't want to miss these things. Wouldn't know where they are otherwise. Okay, let's go get the skill point first, and then we'll come back and uh, double back and get the get the old Kingslayer file. There it is. This is a commendation. Fantastic. It's like it came from a box of cereal with the Air Force or something. Oh man, I'm pleased. We're getting skill points already, that's good. Head up this way, there's a Kingslayer file. I think it's up here in this building up here or something. Up this way. Hang on left, there it is, in that building. Just follow the path. Don't want to climb rocks unnecessarily. Not all that easy to get up. Here we go, it's a loading dock or something. There it is. Brilliant. Alright. So. Now we're ready to tackle our mission, guys. Let's at least go and get close. Where's the vehicle we came in? Our Zeus. I like that thing. That's not it. That's a piece of crap mystery machine. What did we do with the Zeus? We came in... Oh, I can't remember which way we came in. Sort of straight down, wasn't it? Is that it back there? I think that might be it. Part behind the build, uh, the vehicles, the buildings, behind the buildings. Is this it? Yeah, it is. Drive. Cool. Okay, where are we heading, guys? Look at this skill points. Yeah, we'll uh, actually we'll identify this unidentified location, unknown location. Uh, we're going to head up this way. We've got to come back, we've got to sort of head straight up there for that one. I'm just working out what we're going to do, guys. I think maybe we'll go get this other skill point quickly. If we can get our Zeus out of here. Yeah, we can. This way. Here we go. This way. Here we go. It's working. Handles so well for a big machine. Do like this. This is a message from the Free Rebel Forces of Bolivia. By corrupting our government, by terrorizing our people, convoy. the cartel has all but taken no, over our here. country. Like frightened children, we hide under our sheets, hoping the scary cartel forgets that what? we're there. It is all right to admit that you are scared. Here we go, here we go. Because when there's fear, there is always hate. Fire on these. Random, random, come on. I'm gonna shove them off the edge. Yep, yeah, one guy's bail. Whoa! That's our Zeus! Oh man! Wow, I think we got stuff. What's that? And it's all in one piece. Well, that actually went quite well. Let's see what we can grab from that truck. Still another guy in it. Movement on the road. Anyway. Got eyes on the cartel food truck and escorts. It's like a yeah, it got it all. Way. Food truck secure. It's calling the location to the rebels. They can send some people to pick it up later. So we do it. Cool. Okay, we need another vehicle now then. Well, look at that—a helicopter. Who left that there? Cool. Right. That's handy, and it's unscathed. Apart from a slightly broken window. Right, guys, we'll jump in this and we'll go grab our skill point and get up there and do that mission in the next episode. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, drop a like down below to let me know. I'd appreciate that. 
and don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any more of these episodes and hit the notification button to be emailed when I drop one and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.